ultra-cold atomic gases are well suited to study the phenomenon of superfluidity. In the case of bosons, the gas forms a Bose-Einstein condensate where uh, most of atoms occupy the same single particle state and they behave uh, in a particularly coherent way. In the case of fermions, the gas forms Cooper pearls, which are pearls of atoms of opposite spin, which can form also a coherent configuration, giving rise to superfluidity. One of the most prominent features of superfluids is the existence of solitons and quantized vortices, which are a consequence of phase coherence. In one dimension, a soliton corresponds to a well-defined modulation of the formation of the modulus and the phase of uh, the order parameter of the system, which can, which can propagate without dispersion. Now, since it became experimentally possible to realize mixtures of Bose and Fermi superfluids with ultra-cold gases, we decided to study this, uh, the properties of such systems uh, theoretically, focusing precisely on the solitonic solutions. We use bogolubov degen equations in order to describe the Fermi superfluid and the gross pitevsky equation for the condensate of bosons. In the bogolubov degen equations, we have to solve an eigenvalue problem shown here. We have to solve these equations together with the equation for the superfluid gap delta and the density. Instead, the gross pitevsky equation is a wave equation for an order parameter psi of the Bose-Einstein condensate. The phase diagram of the mixture of superfluid bosons and an ideal Fermi gas has already been calculated and features three phases. A uniform mixture, where both gases coexist and occupy the same space. A complete phase separation, where bosons separate in space from fermions. And the least obvious phase, where some fraction of fermions separates in space from the rest, while the remaining region is filled by a mixture of bosons and fermions. Using our equations, we indeed reproduce all three phases by varying the strength of the interaction between bosons and fermions. Between the coexistence phase and the fully separated phase, a narrow range of interaction parameter exists, where only a fraction of fermions separates from the mixture. As the next step, we study a dark soliton in the Fermi superfluid and how it is modified by bosons in all those three regimes. In the coexistence regime, the bosons merely feel the Fermi soliton as an external potential, which attracts them, but the effect is weak and does not change the overall properties of the soliton. In the phase separated regime, the solitonic depletion is completely filled by bosons and the two components of the gas are spatially separated. The partial separated regime brings the most interesting result. Bosons localize around the depletion in the Fermi gas, which in turn becomes very wide and deep, maintaining the phase coherence between the two sides. This is a novel structure in the form of a dark bright soliton. Our results uh, may have some interesting implications in the search for the elusive uh, full de Ferrel larkin or, or Chinnikov phase. In such a phase, due to the imbalance between spin-up and spin-down fermions, the Fermi radius of the two spin components is different. As a consequence, Cooper pairs have a finite center of mass momentum, and the other parameter exhibits a spatial modulation with the period set by this momentum. Our results suggest that the presence of a small bosonic component can be used as a way to stabilize density modulations of the fermionic order parameter and also to make them more directly observable.